Hey guys, welcome back to the Portsmouth Road to Glory. We have deadline day coming up right now, 10 hours until the end of the window. And I've decided I'm going to complete that objective that we struggle to do on Tuesday. You know, the signing two different nations to the one of your club. It's a bit confusing. I think having read the comments, people think I need to sign two players outside of the UK or outside the Premier League and two different nations that I don't already have at the club, of course. I already had Ian Acho, Nigerian, so Iwobi didn't count, I guess. And I've already got Baka, so I guess it didn't count when I brought in Dumfries. It's a little bit of a strange one, but we're going to go ahead and try and fix it today. I'm just going to search for two obscure nations and see if we can bring in some players that will help out the team. In fact, let's decide on the two positions that I'm going to bring in a player for. So we've got arguably a very strong bench except from 81 rated Hog. So maybe we could bring in a, an attacking midfielder, although we've got Stevenson. Uh, maybe central midfield, maybe a right winger. We could just go for a right winger. So we've got two spare wingers, one left-sided, one right-sided. We could also look for another right-back because why not? Why, why don't we just do that? Right wing, right back, two different nations. They don't have to be incredibly good players, but of course we've got money to spend. Maybe we'll find someone that we want anyway. I am feeling like maybe either Portugal, Spain or France. Although no, we've got Nkunku. We, we can't have France. Maybe Germany. Should we have a look at German right-wingers? Let's see what pops up. I'm sure there's some. Okay, maybe not. Let's go right midfielder. There must be a right midfielder that we could take and would somewhat improve the squad anyway. You know, just having a spare player on the bench. Oh my God. Gnabry. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Um, no, that's, that's too much. He has to start if you think about it. So we're not going to go with him. I've just found Linton Mayner, right mid, left mid striker. He's a free agent as well. He's injury prone, which is obviously a little bit frustrating, but I don't know, maybe, maybe this guy? What are his stats going to be like? You know, what rating is he? I don't know. I could still rescue Bellerin from Tottenham. I, I think maybe I'm going to do that <laughs> just to rescue him. Let's get Bellerin. I can't leave you at Tottenham, mate. We can't be dealing with that. Jose is still manager in my save, of course. A lot has changed in the real world of football since I started this save. We're going to go ahead and offer a transfer fee. I don't really want to do business with Tottenham, so we're going to offer the bare minimum, really. I'm going to go in with 25 million. For a 30-year-old that isn't going to improve anymore, maybe it'll be enough. Oh, they want Faulkner. Yeah, no chance. Absolutely no chance that's happening. I'll go in with... 27 and a half. It's a slight improvement, but it's still less than his value. And what? No way. They want 39.9 million. That's way too much. But you know what? I've got to do this. I've got to save Bellerin. Bring him. Well, not bring him home, but get him out of that disgusting place. 32 and a half million is not enough. They'll take 38. I think 35 should be the key then. Again, about midway between what we're both looking for. 35 million is enough. That is an absolute ripoff for a player that really isn't that great, if we're being honest. However, I'm going to rescue him. Let's get him in. And it's this damn cutscene again. Mute game. I hope in FIFA 22 they remove it. They can keep this, this area, but just change the music. You know, how hard can it be? We're going to have to try and get him on probably important aren't we I'll try rotation maybe he'll accept it because we've got two higher rated right backs already he wants important okay we'll make it happen we'll make it happen uh three-year deal yep yeah, that's absolutely fine by me to be fair Bellerin is not a bad player to have especially if we decide to keep playing three at the back he can play right wing back so well he's very very decent in FIFA not so much in real life I'm surprised we still haven't sold him yet he didn't go to the Euros. What's the holdup? Let's just uh, try and get that deal done, eh? I think still potentially going to go to Spain. I think that's where he's going to end up. There were talks of PSG, but I, I doubt it now they've got Hakimi. Okay, he wants 71,000. We'll give you 70, and I'll just up this a little bit. He also wants an appearance bonus, which we're going to remove. 70k. 
and then 700,000. Is it going to be enough to rescue Hector Bellerin from Tottenham? No, he wants 77,000. All right, 75, and you've got yourself a deal, mate. Come on, do the deal, Hector. You know you want to get out of there just as much as I want to rescue you. There we go. Right, guys, that should be one of one. I don't have any... One of two, sorry. I don't have any Spanish players in the squad. So, let's check. Has it gone one out of two? It hasn't. Have I got a Spanish... Please tell me I've... I haven't. I haven't got a Spanish player. I'm sure of it. So that's better in there. Spanish. I had a little heart attack there. We don't. We don't have any Spanish players. So is this is this broken or is it because he's Premier League? I just I just realised he's Premier League. Oh my god. Oh my god. What have I just done? He's Premier League. Wow, Matt. Good job, mate. Good job. That was fantastic. Um, how much money do we have left? <laughs> Um, okay. Well, that didn't go to plan. Yeah, that's, that's dumb. Okay, well, I'm going to give him his old number, number 24. Uh, sorry, Hunter. It's gone. We'll give Hunter a different number. You can have, we've got 16 available. We've got 28. That's one of his old numbers. Okay, guys, I just screwed up. That was a complete waste of time. Um, but we, we've got Bellerin. Let's just get Mayner in. It'll do. I'm not too worried about his rating. Of course, we're going back to the damn cutscene here in the restaurant. Sporadic, that's fine. I'm guessing this guy's like 74, 75 rated, but whatever. It's a free signing. And then we'll have to get another free agent, won't we? At least I've saved Bellerin. You know, I, I've, I've rescued him from Tottenham. I wanted to do that originally. I've got it done now. But Dumfries was the right choice. Come on. He's been good. Don't need a release clause. Wait, he wants 70k. He must be decent enough. Okay, let's try 60. He's a free agent after all. Like, come on. Let's just get him. Now nah, he wants the 70k. Whatever. It's fine. Let's see how high rated he is. And if it has actually decided to give me one out of two now. What? It doesn't make any sense. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. What rating is he then? 80. To be fair, that's actually not too bad. 80 rated for free. But um, it hasn't worked, guys. I, 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 would, I would expect at least one out of two there because Miner Ma Ma is not from England and he's not English. He's not a nation that we've already got. He's our first German player. I don't know. I think I give up. It's just not working, is it? Oh, well, whatever. We have spent 192 million. That's a lot of money. And how much have we made? Let me just go left. We've made 67.8 million. So, yeah, we have spent a lot of cash in this window. But uh, two of those signings, I mean, actually, May Maynard doesn't count because it was a free signing. But Bellerin, obviously, being 30 odd million was not high value deal or a good value deal. Five hours remaining. Jeez, look at uh, Southampton selling players. They've made a huge profit in this window. Kante has gone to Everton and they've replaced him with Valverde. Wow, what a deal that is. That's incredible. And Tottenham have sold Longley and Bellerin. They've brought in Griezmann, Sanchez and Ndidi. That's actually pretty good business, to be fair. And they've just brought in another player there as we were watching it. Gikonski, Gikonski, no idea who that is, but deadline day is done. I give up on this stupid objective. I'm pretty sure it's just glitched out like some of the others. They just don't work. Transfer window closed. Almost a billion was spent. Two new players that I wasn't expecting to get, that's for sure. But I'm going to give them their in-game pictures. And let's go ahead and give Mayna... A squad number. He's got number eight at the moment, but I think I'm going to give him something else. What have we got available? 26, 29. I'm going to give him 26. That'll do. Right, it's time to update you. We've got some very exciting stuff. Not only do we have our Champions League group decided, I'm going to show you that after this game against Chelsea, but also we have two mods that have been updated. Minoga has a new trim. He's gone back to dark hair. He is no longer bleach blonde. 
I actually showed him a picture on Twitter and he said it was amazing. So good job, Wizard Mods. You've nailed it again. And also, we have a new mod for Rogers. I've given him a beard. He's no longer 18 years old. So here's Omnoga's new face mod. He's got uh, the short, dark hair again. And then if we go all the way down here to Rogers, as you can see here, he now has a little bit of a stubble beard going on. This is the, the greatest thing about modding. Look, this guy's 23 years old now. He's definitely hit puberty, okay? He now has a beard. And it's brilliant because we've had a face mod for him since the beginning of the series. And now it just shows that we're six seasons in. He's getting older. And um, yeah, I'm really happy with that. So thank you again to Wizard Mods. He is so, so good at what he does. We're going to play against Chelsea now, who are currently in seventh place. And then after that... It's time for the Champions League group stage reveal. And let me just tell you, we have one of the greats in our group and it's going to be really difficult. I think it's hilarious that, you know, if you think throughout this series, we've mainly stayed within England when it comes to signings. And now I have literally become England. My right back position is my strongest position. I've got three superb right backs. It's hilarious, isn't it? <laughs> we've got Bellerin, Rhys James and Dumfries. I mean, I'm not saying Bellerin's world-class. I'm not saying Dumfries is world-class. I would say that Rhys James is, I think he's 88 rated at this point, but three insanely good right-backs. I have become England. Um, but of course, we've always done this. When we make a new signing, we give them their debut in the first game. So Bellerin is playing at right wing-back. However, Mayner is on the bench. It is Mayner, right? I think it's Mayner. I've already forgotten his name. He is on the bench. He'll come on in the second half against Chelsea to make his debut. Already got the ball early here. Here is Saka. Star boy. Got us back in the game yesterday with that cross into the own goal. And that wasn't a repeat of that. I would have liked to, to have gone in. You know, an own goal there would have been fine. But it wasn't the greatest pass. Good tackle day. Love that. I got quite a lot of hate last night on Twitter and in the review I did for the England game because I guess I didn't talk about the penalty enough. I said in the video I thought it was very, very soft and I didn't really agree with it. But the thing is, and as I said after, VAR gave it. So what what can you say? As an England fan, you're just going to say, well, yeah, okay, it was soft, but they gave it. Oh, God, we're 1-0 down. What I'm trying to say is don't hate on me. I'm from England. Obviously, I'm going to take it. We're into the final, man. But I understand why Danish and pretty much the rest of the world disagree with it. Everyone hates England. I get it. But yeah, it, it was a very soft penalty. I wouldn't have given it. I'm surprised VAR gave it. I was watching it live and I was saying, nah, they, they won't give it. It's definitely minimal contact. But no, they, they gave it. We got lucky with the rebound and we scored it. It is history now. It is what it is. Nothing we can do. Here is Holt into Rodgers. We need to get a goal back here. And that's not going to happen if I just run into a defender. Here goes Werner now. Go on, Backer. Nice. This is why Backer is playing this season. He's too good to be on the bench. Definitely a little bit of a slow game, especially since Chelsea scored. They haven't done anything since. We've had a free kick, which I missed, and some poor passing, which meant I couldn't get through. So nothing to see here. We've got away with that. Potentially was a foul. Oh, I don't know. Here goes Mason Mount now. Through for Rodgers. Maybe that's a hell of a ball. He's going to get there. Can he finish it though? The answer's no, he can't. But hey, at least we get a look at his new facial hair. It was close. Very close. Right before half time. Come on, let's go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just going to throw it straight to Valverde, their new signing. Who's probably, what, 91, 92 rated? Something stupid like that. What a signing that is. It's Havertz. He is the main man, though. Havertz, every time we play against Chelsea, he's a nightmare. But Back has done great there. And it's in for Rodgers. He's going to get another chance with his right foot this time. But Livakovic, who had an absolute mare last time we played against Chelsea, did well there. And now Saka is going to cross this. It's a good ball in. It's going to be another corner. Do I take it short? No, I don't think so. We'll just whip this one in for Harry Day. Go on. Go on, Harry. Off the bar. 
No way. And he's blown the whistle. We should be we should be back in this game. Not winning the game. Definitely not winning. We should be drawing this game. Rogers again. Left foot. Near post. Yes, there it is. First chance in the second half. And Rogers, with his new look, slams one home. He loves scoring against Chelsea, this guy. He absolutely loves it. For a second, I thought the Chelsea fans were celebrating, but we have a very similar blue shirt. Don't worry, it was just the Portsmouth home kit. And there it is, guys. We're back in the game. Happy with that. Now we need to get that second goal and make it five wins from five at the start of the season. And we've played some pretty tough games. So I'd be very proud of that. Haven't really seen much of Cummings in this game. Hopefully now we might be able to get him in. Nope, that's a poor pass into Koulibaly. I'm about to bring on Mena on the right side. I'm going to take off Saka. And also Bellerin is going to be swapped out for... I think I brought on Dumfries. Less than 20 minutes to go now. Holt wins the tackle. Here's Mason Mount. I'm going to give it to Rogers. Cummings could be in. Oh, go on. Please win this. Go on. Go on. Yes! Cummings scores again! This kid is on fire this season. Absolutely on fire. How is Martinelli going to get in the team? <laughs> he's celebrating with Mayner. He hasn't even touched the ball yet. But he's come on and we've managed to score. I guess he's involved somehow. He, he made the run to make space for Cummings. I don't know. Great finish. Right, we're winning the game now with 15 minutes left on the clock. I still have one sub available, but for now... Don't really think I'm going to use it. I'm fully expecting Chelsea to launch tons of attacks. They've lost it here, though. Hello, Cummings is in. Uh, no support from midfield just yet. We'll give it to Rogers. We've got Mayner on the right. This is literally his first touch on the ball. 80 rated free agent. That is really not bad at all, is it? Into Rogers again. Oh, try to get it over the top. I think he would have been offside anyway. There you go, Mayner. Let's try a shot. Oh my god, that wasn't bad, you know. Not bad at all. All I need to do is score here and it's done. Go on. Go on. Oh, it wasn't far off. Right, Chelsea are going to have two minutes added on, I'm guessing, to try and get a winner here, or an equaliser, I should say. Two minutes it is, and I'm just going to put some pressure on their back line here. Don't let them get the ball up. That should be it. We should be good here. Blow the whistle, referee. And it's another win in London. Chelsea just have not been able to match us. They've really struggled there. Really, really happy with that free deal for Maynard. I reckon he could be a nice little player for us, especially in the cup games. But of course, Rodgers was the main man today and Cummings got another goal. And I just realised my audio was muted. Guess why? Because I went into the cut scene and I muted it and I forgot to unmute it. I'm really sorry, guys. You didn't hear any volume for that Chelsea game. That's my bad. Uh, we have to move on. I can't kind of go back and get volume for it. It doesn't quite work like that. Anyway, exciting moment coming up. We are in Group H. We're about to find out who we've got in the group stage. I already know. So you're about to find out. In Group A, we've got a very, very tight group. Liverpool, Dortmund, Marseille and CSK in Moscow. Then in Group B, we have Atletico Madrid, RB Leipzig, Inter Milan and Lokomotiv Moscow. That is a very strong group. Group C is Man City, Napoli, Spartak Moscow and Dynamo Kiev. Hopefully my head's not going to be in the way here. Do you know what? I'm actually going to get rid of my camera so you guys can see it properly. Group D is Manchester United, Wolfsburg, Valencia and FCSB. And then Group E, Chelsea, Juventus or Piemonte Calcio, uh, Genk and Galatasaray. Group F, Real Madrid, Lyon, Sporting, and PSV. Woo, that's a good group. And then Group G, wow, look at that. Bayern, PSG, Ajax, and Victoria Plzon. Don't know how to say it. And then, of course, Group H, you guessed it. Barcelona, we have Roma FC. I should probably try and get a mod before we play the first few games where I can get the licensing. Yeah, I need to do that and uh, Celtic. So there you go, guys. Really, really tough group. Barcelona, Roma, and Celtic. It's not going to be an easy journey in our first ever Champions League uh, season, this series. And we're up against Celtic first. So let's just hope we can pull out a win. 
Uh, Dumfries is now going to be a right wing back. That is fantastic. So let's go ahead and confirm that. And he stays 84. I'm now going to convert him back to a right back, which is at the top here. That was quick. Nice and easy. We're also converting Maynard to a right winger. And Bellerin was already right back slash right wing back. So that's all good. Time now for our first Champions League press conference. Team Morale is happy. Can your boys reach the Champions League final? Uh, <laughs> we have to handle expectations. Come on, man. That's a bit mad. It's a bit mad. Up next, can you kick off with a win? Um, we can't wait. We will beat Celtic. Come on. And then, have you got any worries about the game? Uh, we'll just keep playing our football. Such simple answers. Let's get into the game. This is it. We've been waiting six seasons for this. A Champions League game. And our first one is away at Celtic. I wish they had their stadium. That would have been amazing. But uh, you'll probably notice as the players walk out, we do have some of the second and maybe even third team players coming in. We have a lot of competitions this season. There will be a lot of rotation, but mainly in the FA Cup, the EFL Cup. For the Champions League, I'm still going with strong players, but Gale comes in, Martinelli comes in. We've got Bele Galmore sitting in midfield, who has signed for Norwich, by the way. Season-long loan. Can't wait to see him in the Prem every week. He should be playing every week for Norwich. Uh, also, we've got Faulkner coming in at centre-back. Dumfries at right back, but still, we've got the main men like Rogers, Holt, Nelson. We're still going to be strong. We've got a free kick to defend here. Let's see what happens. 28 yards out. I'm going to jump the wall. It's very obvious he's going to shoot. He goes for it, and it's not great, to be honest. Really, this referee hates me already. He's already given them, given them two free kicks within 10 minutes. Surely he's not going to shoot again. I'm still going to jump the wall. He has gone for it. Oh, that one was better, but you're just not going to beat Henderson from there, are you? Honestly, right now, it feels like I haven't even touched the ball. This is not how I wanted my Champions League debut to go. We've already given away three free kicks. What the hell is this? I, <laughs> I don't know, guys. I feel like the referee is being very, very soft, but hey... It means we'll get a penalty, right, at some point in this game. Or, actually, no, we'll probably give away a penalty. That's definitely more likely. I'm surprised that wasn't a foul. Dumfries just bowled over the Celtic player. You're going to get a cross in? You're not going to be allowed to because Dumfries is there. Right, come on. First proper attack, right? Let's make it 1-0. Here's Gale. Into Rogers, who is onside. We've got Nelson and Gale here. Into Nelson now. Oh, I'm going to put it over to Holt. Cross coming in. It's a strange cross. Go on, win the header. Oh, okay, yeah. Win the header, but preferably give it to one of us. <laughs> Not out for a goal kick. Go on, go on, go on. What an overlap. He's onside. Got Martinelli getting in the box. I don't want to cross this, though. Although I might have to. No, actually, we can pass it. Martinelli trying to run around. Ah, oh, I've run out of space. Here's Nelson. Rogers. Over to Gale. Hit it. Oh, Gale. Absolutely incredible. Love that. Barreth Gale. Yeah, Barreth Gale. <laughs> Left-footed machine. Let's have a look at this replay. We passed it around patiently. Nice touch. Opens up and slams it home. Against the run of play, 35 minutes in, we get our first shot. I think that was our first shot on target. Wait, what? Oh my god, Roma are beating Barcelona 2-0. Wow, I guess Barcelona have dipped a little bit. Maybe they've sold off a lot of their good players and haven't reinvested properly. What does that sound like? It almost sounds like the real Barcelona. <laughs> that can't even register Messi, his new deal, because they haven't got enough money left in the budget. Legally. Man, they're in an absolute mess right now, Barcelona. Just like we are defensively. I think, I think we're okay. I'm just, oh, okay, yeah. Just pass it out, Matt. Why not? Why not? I think we'll be okay. We'll get a... No, we won't get a tackle in. No, we definitely won't. Oh, that should have been a penalty. I took him out. Honestly, that should have been a penalty. We'll just get out with Martinelli. Yep, straight to a Celtic player again. I'm just feeling generous, you know. I feel bad that we're winning. <laughs> I'm just giving them the ball a little bit more. I think that's going to be half time, though. 1-0 up, and we really, really don't deserve it. But it was a great goal from Gale. Some people will disagree. 
But in a way, I think Gale might actually be better than Saka at this point. Saka is more well-rounded. I'd rather have him in those positions if I was crossing or passing around or whatever. But when it comes to just raw ability to score, Gale has something else, man. He might be one of the most underrated players in the team. Here's Rodgers. Oh, <laughs> tried to sneak one in there from range. But yeah, maybe it's time to give Gale more of a chance. He is... Is he 84 rated? Let me just double check. He is 84 rated. Uh, when did Amnoga get a yellow card? How did I not even notice that? Okay, when I make some subs, I might need to replace him. Roma are now 3-0 up against Barcelona. What is going on there? We need to have a look at Roma's team. It could be that they have a ridiculous lineup, whereas Barcelona have lost a lot of their good players. And that reminds me, we haven't really checked for regens, have we? I don't think I want to sign a Messi regen or a Ronaldo regen in this series, but I still want to check it out and see what kind of players they've produced. But we're in here. Rogers over to Martinelli. And that, my friends, is 2-0. And it's probably game over. I think what I'm going to do now is shuffle over to a 4-2-3-1 which means we can take off Noga, put Dumfries at right back, and then I'm going to bring in... I'm going to bring in Cummings at Cam. Yeah, why not? We'll do that. Martinelli, left wing. Gale, right wing. This team is a joke, man. It is starting to get very, very, very strong. And now that we're in the Champions League, it's the perfect timing. Here is Martinelli again. He's absolutely rapid. How do you stop that? Well, you don't. Inside to Billy Gilmore, who's missed it. I was about to yell, you know what. <laughs> Billy Gilmore! Can't wait for him to play for Norwich. Honestly, I, I cannot wait for that. I think he's going to have an incredible season. If he, if he gets a real good run of games, he'll be one of their key players for sure. Just as he has been at times in this save. How have we got this? They should have done more with this. Here's Nelson. Um, <laughs> Rogers. What? Okay. First of all, why is the game passing that to Rogers? But also, why is he so offside? Just get back on, man. Oh, go on then. Why not? Why not? Oh, my God. Gale almost scored an absolute wonder goal. He is having a very, very strong appearance here. And I, I kind of feel like he should keep his place in the next game. Honestly, he has been superb. I wish that went in. That was a beautiful attempt. Go on, Gale. Down the right. We've got Ian Acho in there now. No. I guess this is it. We're going to get a throw as we go into injury time. I've just brought on Ian Acho and Hogg. So we've got Cummings on the left now. Here is Hogg. I was going to go for it with him as well. Oh! Oh! <laughs> The, the finesse shots are so strong. If you've got players with really good curve, it's so good. Here's Billy Gilmore. The cross comes in. Nelson's there. Oh, that was unlucky. But I think that will be it. And that is going to wrap up today's games. We have won every single game this season, including our first game in the Champions League. Up against a strong Celtic side, who I think are going to struggle, though. Let's just, before we end the episode, check out Barcelona and Roma's squad, though, because I don't know what's going on there. Somehow, they won 4-0. So, let's take a look. 84 rated Keita, 84 Lopez. I mean, 87 Zakaria. That's pretty damn good. 83. We don't have all of the, the ratings here. But honestly, I mean... <sighs> They're okay. They've got an 81 rated Hummels. <laughs> Realistically, though, I would imagine that Barcelona are higher rated than this. Oh, my God. Partey's back at Atletico Madrid. Don't blame him, mate. Chilwell, Zuma, Robertson, Laporte, Zinchenko, Van der Beek is 87 rated. Schula, Hernandez, Palacios, Jovic. My God. To Stegen's 92. Dembele, De Jong, Pedri is 87. 86, Trincao. They have some incredible players. What is going on there? Honestly, I, I, I don't know how Roma have won 4-0. But uh, 
they have. So we'll have to watch out for those games against Roma and Barcelona because seemingly Roma are outperforming what they should be doing and Barcelona still have an incredible squad so they could just turn up on the day. But uh, as I said, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Tomorrow, we kick off with Derby, who managed to get promotion into the Premier League this season. Let's have a look in the calendar. After that, we have Swansea in the EFL Cup, Leicester away from home, and then the big one. Barcelona are coming to Fratton Park. Make sure you follow me over on Facebook where I do all my live streams. Make sure you, you follow me on Twitter and Instagram and stuff like that too. Everything is linked down below and I'll see you tomorrow for another episode. And by the way, check out my F1 video from earlier today. I know, F1. I posted a non-football video. My God.